Well, today we're, um, we're making it clear to LNP members of Parliament that we think they're sellouts uh, and that they've sold Queensland down the river after promising not to sell uh, electricity assets. Um, they've decided to sell 100% of them by long-term lease. Um, and uh, from that we're going to let them know. And we're going to let them know here and in other, uh, 25 other places around the state today um, that it's not on. And we're yet to see the lease and they've said they'll provide the details of the leases after they win the election and get the mandate. So what does that mean? We know in South Australia when a company puts in a poll or some new infrastructure, they own it. So that's progressive privatisation, progressive sell-off by stealth. You should never have a situation where a pensioner thinks twice about putting on heating to keep them warm in the, in the, in the winter time. Um, you should never have to think twice uh, about whether people are able to put on the, the essentials of life. Asset sales transfers the wealth from the people to private enterprise for profit. And electricity is an essential service that should be in public hands. Um, because without it we don't, we don't exist. Everything we do requires electricity of some sort. Um, and it's just a dangerous precedent and we don't want it. We need, it needs to be put, that ideological attack on public services needs to be stopped. Human beings need power and water to survive in today's day and age. You can't cook without power, you can't run any of your house without power. You need it. It needs to be provided at a basic level by the government, not, not for profiteering or anything like that. I mean, could you imagine if they privatised stuff like the police or ambulance services? They're a basic service that we have, we kind of, we need. No one thinks to privatise those. Why is it that another basic need, and in some cases it can be life and death, say for people on life support, why is that being looked at as being privatised? It honestly makes no sense to me. There's no days I come home hating my job. I really do actually love my job. It's not purely about making money. It's about doing community service. As I'm a public servant, I serve the public. We're here against the asset sales. The assets belong to the people of Queensland, not to overseas conglomerates, and even if they're leased out, in eventually, every, every poll that's put up now then starts to belong to the, the new owners, right? And so by stealth, they take over, gradually take over everything. Probably it's not going to affect me in the short term, but it's going to affect family, and it's going to affect jobs. It's going to affect everyone. Because the, the jobs, I mean, he keeps saying he'll create more jobs once the other. That's a lot of rot. <laughs> really is a load of rot. It won't create jobs, it'll just, people will just lose their jobs. I've got family in Victoria and their prices, because they've all been bought by overseas conglomerates and they, their prices for electricity have just gone absolutely through the roof and that's in the long term what's going to happen to us up here as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh well, at least we're getting some recognition. <laughs>